Assalamu alaikum. How are you, dear students? Welcome to the English class WB. Uh, today, inshallah, we are going to take uh, chapter 3. Chapter 3 uh, about King Knut. King Knut. Uh, we have a very interesting story. Let's start reading it. Uh, king Canut was the king of Denmark and England almost a thousand years ago. He was a good king, and his people loved and respected him because he worked hard for them. So why uh, did his people love and respect him? Because he was a good man who worked hard for them. In his court, there were many courtiers. Courtiers means advisors and officials who are always near the king or the queen. So those uh, people uh, advise the king and the queen uh, to do uh, the right things or the good things for their people. There were many courtiers who tried to flatter him. Flatter him means praise someone without meaning it. Uh, it means that uh, when you say good things about a person, okay? They told him how great he was. They told him that he was the most powerful king on earth. They thought that he would be pleased to hear such words. They hoped that he would be so pleased that he would give them whatever they wanted as a reward. But King Canut only listened politely to them. He knew what they wanted and why they were saying these things. He did not like flatterers. One day, these courtiers told him that he was so powerful that even the air and the water would obey his orders. But King Canute was not a fool and he was t tired of their flattery. He told his intercourse to follow him to the seaside. The tide was coming in. He stood in front of the waves and said, I, King Canute the Powerful, command you, all waves, roar back. Don't touch my royal feet. Of course, the sea did not listen to him. The waves kept coming, and soon King Knut's feet and the feet of all his courtiers were all uh, were well and truly wet. He turned to his shamefaced courtiers and said, "Only a higher power can command the air and the water. Remember that." Okay, uh, do you like this story? Dear students, 
please read this story again and write the difficult words in your copies and do the homework uh, it's on page number 21 learn to read section question number one and number three okay